next up, childhood friends from Brampton, Ontario, who say their tiny invention has huge potential. Hello, Dragons. My name is Devin Ramfall. And my name is Michael Peckray. We're from Dram Innovations in Brampton, Ontario. And our future now energy innovation is a fuel nozzle drip retainer. Currently, what happens <coughs> at the gas stations, when a customer removes a nozzle from the fuel tank, a number of drops falls to the ground. We've designed a method of retaining these drops, which makes the whole pumping process much more efficient and much less wasteful. Let us demonstrate. Here we have a nozzle without our attachment, and here we have one with our attachment. As you can see, the flow continued to flow even after he released the trigger. Now we'll try one with our, with our attachment on it. As you can see, the flow stopped almost instantaneously and was virtually dripless. Now I know like these drops may not seem like a lot, but on a global scale, a lot of fuel is wasted due to the accumulation of these drops. Now the fuel which falls to the ground and is evaporated into our atmosphere leads to the production of smog, which is detrimental to the environment and our health. This whole program is about future now. That's exactly what we've done. We've looked into the future, saw a problem, and brought the solution to now. It's not a matter of if this technology will come into play. It's only a matter of when. And this is why we feel we should win the shop prize of $100,000. Great. Thanks, guys. Thanks for the pitch. I'd like you to go wait in the back. Thank you. will walk away with the Future Now Energy Innovation Prize. Welcome back to this special edition of Dragon's Den. Shell sent out the call for the brightest energy innovations in the country. Hundreds applied and Shell narrowed the list to just three. Now the dragons will determine who takes home the $100,000 prize. Well, welcome back, everyone. Thanks for your pitches. They were great. We're going to start uh, asking questions to Devin and Michael. So how long has this innovation been available? Similar innovations have been available since roughly 1993. So what's different on this one? This one's different because a lot of the past patents have a lot of moving components, such as spring packs and valves. We have a completely static design with no moving components. Is there any other? Thing, is there anything else out on the market like this? Is there more? I, I looked around and I thought there's a bunch of these things out there. Um, nozzles or the attachment? The attachment. The attachment. Nothing in the market currently like our attachment that we know of. That you know of. That we know of. We don't. Yours is different because it doesn't have any moving parts. Exactly. That's what's unique. Exactly. And do you have to buy the whole configuration or just the attachment on the end of the nozzle? Nope, just the attachment on the end of the nozzle. That's all. So we how need. much does that cost? That must be very inexpensive. Just the attachment? No, yeah. the attachment itself is maybe twenty dollars a piece per unit. For for me to buy if I'm the operator. For you to buy. Now, when the gas gets shut off and it stays in the nozzle. Does that mean the next guy is going to have gas that you've paid for? Or how yeah, does that it's work? It's essentially a recycling process, and it's not uncommon. It, it actually happens right now. For example, the fuel in the hose, that was actually paid for by the person before you. Okay. So all we've done is we, we've extended that prime point. So there's, no, to the, there's going to be no money out of the gas company's pocket? No. They're going, to make the, they're going to sell the same amount of gas, make the same amount of money? Absolutely, yes. We've actually spoken to past past patent owners and figured out why, okay, we asked them why this technology is not being done. Mm -hmm. And essentially where their downfall was, was they went to the nozzle manufacturers single-handedly. And the, the response they got back was, hey, nobody's crying about this right now, so why, why do it? So what we're trying to do is we're going to go to the nozzle companies and the gas stations with our fellow dragons, and we're going to go in together and say, guys, the time for change is now. But what is it about today? 
that this is so relevant? Well, gas stations are moving towards implementing green technology. So if Shell got on board, for example, they would have a marketing advantage over every gas station in the industry, and that would allow other gas stations, gas stations to follow suit. And you think as consumers, we're ready to hop on that bandwagon and buy and, and start saving the drips? Absolutely. Green is in right now. People love to go green, but they'll only do it if it's convenient. And so, for example, if I'm driving down the road and I have two on my right-hand side, both gas prices are the same, both offer the same service, they're both equally convenient. One has dripless technology where I'm going to get the most bang for my buck and I'm doing good for the environment, which one am I going to go to? I'm going to go to the green one. Thank you. Okay, thank you. James. Thanks, guys.